Good afternoon. Today I'd like to proudly present you our project of an autonomous waste-free greenhouse for reforestation, uh, made by students of St. Petersburg Mining University, Yulia Salnikova, Polina Ignachenko, Sergei Guryanov, Anastasia Tungusova, and me, Vasily Burikov. Forest fires are an urgent problem today. More than 9 million hectares of forest burned in 2020 in Russia. This phenomenon leads to the loss of water protective and climate regulating functions of forests, loss of biodiversity, reduction of CO2, absorption, soil erosion, etc. Uh, creation of an autonomous, non wasteful greenhouse can help to grow large quantities of coniferous seedlings. Cultivation under fully controlled conditions can significantly shorten the growing period, while tier zincs uh, allow for a smaller growing area. Our greenhouse consists of two parts, the main building and the storage house on the quarry. As you can see uh, from our model, the main building is a geodome in the shape of an armadillo shell. And the scheme describes space engagement inside the building. In addition to the main building, there is a storage house. It performs two functions, the reclamation of the quarry and the storage of trees in the winter or before transportation. For the main building, we suggest using glass, concrete, steel, and aluminum for pipes. Solar panels are also built into the facade. And the storage house building is made of steel and recycled ethylene copolymer. However, uh, the greenhouse can be placed without a storage house. We plan the production to be as safe as possible for the environment. The greenhouse has built in renewable energy sources. It is possible uh, to clean water waste free uh, wastewater, sorry, from nearby enterprises for subsequent use uh, and reduce the discharge of pollutants into reservoirs. Water cycle is also important, but in any case, some of the water will be used for plant nutrition and transportation. Uh, non spruited or weak trees can be used as compost in the same reclaimed quarry. This slide uh, shows the scheme of recycled water supply. As you can see, the purified water goes to the UV treatment, then uh, to the filtration and nutrient solution supply system, after that to the aeroponic unit, and finally goes back through the nutrient liquid collection system. Development of the treatment facilities complex that includes all stages of water treatment together with the industrial enterprise will eventually give us some advantages, such as independence from urban water supply networks. And after the purification process, the water can be directed to the needs of the greenhouse as well as to the needs of the partner enterprise. The greenhouse has five types of alternative energy sources built into it. Two of them are quite popular now, and three are considered promising. The slide shows the diagrams of the operation of different energy sources. Advantages of alternative energy sources are lack of power lines, reducing the area for the use of solar panels and wind turbines, less noise from barrier generators, uh, noise insulation in the building due to algae, and besides, such a system will contribute to reducing CO2 emissions, since obtaining energy by alternative methods doesn't involve a combustion process. For the effective growth of seedlings, we developed a technology to maintain optimal microclimatic conditions. The main parameters that affect growth of spruce seedlings are the temperature of, temperature of air, about 6 to 10 degrees Celsius, light, fertilizers, pH of water, uh, the concentration of CO2, air humidity, and electrical conductivity of water. To regulate all these parameters without a human presence, there is a control panel based on Raspberry Pi. 
The development of complex of treatment facilities, which includes all stages of water treatment, together with the industrial enterprise, will ultimately give us certain advantages. The goal of the project was to create a fully automated complex, which would be managed remotely. Starting the conveyor at the mechanism uh, for issuing shelves with seedlings um, is carried out by pressing the key on the control panel located on the facade of the structure. When you select the pickup and load operation first, the conveyor is turned on. Then, a specialized robot sets the boxes with the nutrient water on it. The boxes are located on the same distance from each other and move at the constant speed, stopping only in front of installation from where shelves are removed. Each installation has a second type of robot that can track uh, the correct placement of the box on the conveyor. If everything is correct, a shelf with the seedlings is installed in a box with nutrient water and transported by a conveyor to the exit of the greenhouse complex. There, they are picked by workers and then taken uh, to the customer or we warehouse. Let's summarize. While in the forest trees grow by 20 centimeters in two years, in our greenhouse, trees will achieve this size only in two months. After that, our workers will deliver seedlings to the customers, directly to the forests or to the storage, if it's not the right season for planting. Also, our project meets the sustainable development goals like reforestation and reducing the amount of PM2.5 will have a beneficial effect on human health. We will use polluted water to and clean, clean it for our project. We will use only clean energy sources. We reduce territories for growing coniferous trees and use remote work systems. We will recultivate quarries and use wastewater. Reforestation will have positive influence on climate. Um, we'll conserve forest biodiversity and forest territories and deliver seedlings to the regions in need. And that's all. Thank you for your attention.